Primary, secondary, and tertiary are the three types of sources that you can use for research. We will discuss the differences among these and look at examples for each type. A primary source is an original idea, concept, or creation. It is current with the time period in which it is created. Primary sources include material items like artifacts, as well as personal journals, diaries, letters, emails, and even text messages. Newspaper articles reporting current events are primary. Other examples include photographs, paintings, sculptures, poetry, novels, and other artistic and creative works. Finally, articles and books recounting original research and studies count as primary sources. Secondary sources offer interpretation, analysis, and commentary on primary sources. For example, a scientist publishes the results of their experiment in a journal. This is original content and a primary source. Another researcher then publishes an article discussing the results of this experiment. Although both are articles, the second article would be considered a secondary source. Secondary sources are commonly found as articles in newspapers, magazines, and journals, as well as books and websites. Tertiary sources offer information that has been gathered and distilled from primary and secondary sources. The most common examples are reference works, like encyclopedias, dictionaries, almanacs, handbooks, and fact books. There can be and often is an overlap between secondary and tertiary resources. What qualities define each is dependent on your institution and your specific discipline. Let's quickly review the three. I'm doing research on an art topic. A primary source would be a painting by Mark Rothko. An article or book analyzing this painting or the artist would be a secondary source, while encyclopedia containing entries on either would be tertiary. If I was researching a physics topic, a primary source could be the paper The Foundation of the General Theory of Relativity by Albert Einstein, while the secondary source would be an article discussing this theory. A tertiary source would consist of an encyclopedia entry on the theory of relativity.